हेलो 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 हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यूर डूइंग गुड इन दिस बिग ऑन सी प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट बाइनरी ट्री फ्रॉम डिस्क्रिप्शन इट्स ईजी प्रॉब्लम इट सिंपली सेज दैट वी आर गिवन सम डिस्क्रिप्शन इट डिफाइन्स द पेरेंट द कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग चाइल्ड एंड बिकॉज यू नो इट्स अ बाइनरी ट्री सो आई कैन हैव टू चाइल्ड इधर लेफ्ट और राइट सो इट इज ऑल्सो गिवन इफ इट्स अ लेफ्ट चाइल्ड और नॉट इफ नॉट दैन इट्स अ राइट चाइल्ड नाउ यू हैव टू बिल्ड actual binary tree out of this description and you have to return the root of that specific binary tree okay let's start off with building a binary tree with the help of the description as i always say that let's look at the input let's look at this and try to build the same thing by looking at the input i received 20 which is the parent again 20 was a node was never there right because i have to make the entire tree so i will make a new node with the value 20 then i will make a new node with the value 15 okay 15 then i know it is a left child okay left child okay this is done this is done next is 20 but 20 i should not make a new node because i have a node with the value 20 but aryan what if it is some other 20 bro if you go and check back these are the unique values you unique values one value will only exist once in the tree so if a 20 is coming again it is referring to the same 20 which you made previously so you have to maintain that for a specific value what was the node you made previously so you will need a kind of a mapping mechanism which means you will use a simple unordered map or a hash map same for this specific value this is the corresponding tree node cool let's name it as map mp now i have another child which is 17 but that is a right child but 17 has not made yet so i will make a new node 17 put as a right child of 20 okay then 50 node is no more there okay make a node 50 but that is 20s parent so 50 i will make a new node and whose and whose left child is 20 and it is a left child okay this is done 50 is already there 80 is not there make 80 and put it as a right child 80 i will make put it as a right child okay as you can see right child then 80 okay 80 then 19 19 is a child so 80 19 is a child but that is a left child 19 is not there make 19 and put it as a left child okay this is done so with the help of this i simply used my hash map by like so as to simply check if for the specific value i have a node or not if yes then if yes then use that same node if not then make a new node that's the only thing i did now i have got this tree but the task was return the root of this tree how will you go and find the root of this tree pause the video right here and comment down below see the specific idea about root is that root which has no parent so simply go and check what all child you had so while you were building the tree also maintain that what all node had a parent so 15 had a parent 20 17 had a parent 15 had a parent 17 had a parent 20 had a parent 80 had a parent and 19 had a parent one node which did not have parent was 50 and voila that is your root node so i will simply iterate on the entire disk like entire hash map which i have which is this hash map and i will check i will maintain one more hash map by saying if it's a if it has a parent or not if some node has a parent for sure it is not a root node if a node does not have a parent it is a root node and that's my answer so as you can see i simply took a map which will keep track for a specific value what is the corresponding tree node and i take another map for a specific value does it have a parent or not i'll simply iterate on the description i will get the parent value corresponding child value and corresponding is left that's a simple vector of int now my task is to grab the parent node and child node so i'll grab the parent node and the child node initially it is null i'll go and check my hash map first if the map of this parent value is there in my hash map simply get from the hash map you should not make it new else you will get keep issue if if it is not there then make a new node 
If it is there, then take it from there. This is for the parent. And the same way for child, if it is not there in my map, go and make a new node. If it is there, take it from my child. Now, when this portion is done, I will simply go and check. Do I have to place, because I have now the parent node, I have now the ch ch child node, I just have to know. Do I place my child to the left of my parent or to the right of my parent? So I will take my parent if it is to be placed on the left. So I'll take parents left as child node, else it will be parents right as my child node. Now this is done. So technically your, you have used your description, but there's one thing you are checking a hash map here. So obviously you, you need to populate your hash map for future for loops, for future for loops. I just populated my hash map for future for loops. Now, as you know that ultimately when your tree is built, you need to know one thing, what all node had parent. So I'll also have populated here that this child value has a parent. This because this is a loop in which parent is there, child is there and I will place it either left or right. But ultimately for this child value, I will have some parent. So just like just saying that for this child value, I have a parent or not. Now, when this portion is done, you know that your hash map, which is MP, contains for all nodes in the tree, their corresponding tree node value. This has parent contains all the child nodes which have a parent. So I'll simply iterate on my actual hash map, which contains the node value in the corresponding node. I will check if that node value has a parent. I don't want it. If it does not have a parent, yes, I want it. And that is my root node. And I will simply return my root node here. And because of this, again, this is a simple traversal O of n time here and O of n time here. So time will be O of n only. Because of using your hash map, your space will be O of n itself. Now, there are ways to solve it by uh, DFS, BFS also, but that's simply an overkill and not intuitive also. This is the most intuitive and the most easiest approach for it. Again, uh, this should not be asked by companies, I think. But again, uh, it is one or two years and the frequency is shit. So yeah, uh, not that good question to be asked in an interview. But bye-bye, take care. That's a good thing, which but we will do daily. Bye.